When issues nearby stopped Kerry feeling safe in her home, she was faced with a difficult choice, unable to take her cat into the refuge she was planning on escaping to. I would have had to stay because I wouldn't have left um, Princess Henrietta if she couldn't go somewhere safe. I would have been an extra three and a half months staying in that unit, worried that the perpetrator would come back. Instead, her cat went into foster care until Kerry was back on her feet. Okay. It's part of a program the RSPCA runs in most states. In WA, it's supported by the state government and has helped more than 170 families over the last five years, caring for everything from cats and dogs to rabbits. They just say they feel so relieved knowing that there's a program out there that they can use. It crosses another worry off the list when it comes to planning their escape from that situation. Recent research is scant but suggests at least 50% of domestic violence victims report their pets were abused as well, with as many as a third of people delaying leaving a violent relationship out of fear for their pet's safety. It's a big thing to think about because not only are you leaving the home, You've also got to leave your pet. And if you know your pet's not going to be safe, you probably won't leave the house. Paulina and Brett Edwards have fostered yeah. two dogs through the program and want others to do the same. She's a good girl. It's definitely a great feeling to know that we're not only helping a pet, but also someone who's gone through um, domestic violence or problems in their household. If pets can't be fostered, it means they stay here at the RSPCA's shelter. That's currently the case for two dogs, but it's hoped with more carers coming on board, they won't be here for long. A kennel environment is not an ideal environment for any animal. These are loved family pets. The program offers them a home. So we just need as many foster carers as possible to put their hand up, sign up for the program. <laughs> Foster carers have most of their animals' costs covered, including food and vet care. Ken Burke, ABC News. <laughs>